Hi guys, so today I have a makeup tutorial for you. Um, I did this look because I was going out for dinner, but you guys can do it for whatever occasion you want. And I already started off with my eyebrows. I do have a more detailed video on how I do my eyebrows. Um, but that one's in Spanish. I'll have to do an English one. So yeah, um gonna skip you right here through my eyebrow and move to the rest of my face. So as usual, I'm gonna start off with my MAC Nature Deep Paint Pot and uh, that's gonna be a good this with the brush then um, smooth it out with my finger and make sure you apply it underneath and bring it all the way up to your brow bone. my peach smoothie eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and this Sigma E35 brush and I'm going to be using this lighter shade as my transition color. So in this case I took my eyeshadow from back called the Brown Script and this is like an orangey brown. Um, it has an orange undertone to it, so I'm applying that with the taper blending brush right on my crease, um, going back and forth, concentrating that on my outer part of the eye. Start off with little amounts of product, then um, start adding more color to it, because if you go right in with a lot of product, it's going to become a mess, and it's going to be very, very hard for you to blend. For this look, we're going to be going back with our brushes. We're going to be using them a lot. Like this Sigma E35, I just used it again to blend. Then I go back to my taper blending brush to add more color and to shape that crease a little bit more. Um, just work that color. Make sure you apply it on the outer V as well. But we are going to be applying a darker shade in a minute. So now we're going to be moving on to our eyelids and for that I'm going to be taking this color tattoo by Maybelline um, as a base because I'm going to add a silver eyeshadow and that one is called uh, Silver Strike and I'm applying that with the flat brush and just pressing that product in. This works so good for like when you need a primer or your eyeshadow to stay for a little bit longer. It really makes your eyeshadows pop more and stay there for a long time so now I'm going to be taking this silver eyeshadow from my NYX palette um, let me look for it right here I have it right here it's called blue had me a hello and it's this very beautiful silver um, you can find this wet and wild palettes at Walgreens um, I do think they discontinued them because I haven't seen the same palette at Walgreens anymore but then I took this eyeshadow called Corrupt from Makeup Geek. It's like really intense black eyeshadow and I apply that with the pencil brush right on my outer V. Creating a V shape, bringing it up to my crease, um, not taking it too far in. Sigma E35 brush um, and I'm blending that black eyeshadow just so I won't have any harsh lines and just blend a little bit but I do add a little bit more of that brown script so it can look more blended
Next, I um, grabbed this glitter. It's like a glitter liner from Essence. Um, I don't know the name, but you can get it at Wal Walgreens too. And I add that on top of the eyeshadow just to give it a little bit more of dimension, a little bit more of um, glitter because I do like shiny eyelids or shimmery eyelids. And now I moved on to eyeliner and I included my eyeliner just so you guys can see how I do it. Like you can see, I pull a line towards my eye the tail of my eyebrow. Then I start filling in. Um, I do this in small strokes because this eyeliner I was using at the moment was pretty whack. It took me a long time to cover a lot of um, spots. It was leaving a lot of blank spots. But I work my way until I get to the very tear duct. Um, I don't bring my eyeliner all the way down because I feel like it makes my eyes look more like sleepy. Then I added this white shimmery shade on my tear duct to open my eye a little bit more. And I took my eyeshadow from MAC called Orb and I applied that as a highlight. And then I moved on to uh, my waterline. I apply some black eyeliner and I apply this as long as my upper eyelash line as well. This is a very important step. Um, if you add eyeliner to your upper lash line, it makes a big difference. It makes you look like you have more eyelashes and they're more full. So now I'm applying some mascara and I'm using the one from Makeup Forever. And I just press my eyelashes together so they would um, stick right to the falsies. So now I'm curling my eyelashes and let me tell you girls, this eyelash curler sucks. It's from Target. I do think it's worth the money to spend on an eyelash curler because I have gone through so many from the drugstore and none of them work. Recently I picked up the Tarte one and oh my god my mouth dropped to the floor when I first curled my eyelash. It stayed on curled and I couldn't believe my eyes. I'll make a video about it pretty soon so you guys can see and you guys can find that Tarte curler at Sephora. But anyways back to the video just adding some eyeliner on top of my eyelash on top of my um, eyelash so it can cover the glue yeah and then adding some more eyeliner to my waterline and is this is just gonna make the look more intense and more smoky so just doing a little bit of highlighting and contouring I'm um, right here I'm using my Wine Maybelline dark circle eraser concealer I don't know I'm all over the place and I'm using the color light pale this has been one of my favorite concealers um, I have used it more than my MAC Pro Longwear which is crazy. You guys can find this at Walgreens and they're like $7. And I'm using this crown brush. It's a synthetic brush and I like it because it helps to soak the excess product and it blends out really well. that concealer I'm gonna be using my Ben Eye powder um, these, I've heard some rumors that Kim Kardashian uses this powder I don't know this is in shade banana which this shade actually works for darker complexions or darker skin uh, but I made it work but as you can see it kind of erased my highlight um, when you guys don't find a lighter powder or don't apply a lighter powder it actually acts like you never did anything because if it's a darker powder it just turns that concealer into a darker shade so it's pointless but I'll do a more contour and highlight video soon so now I'm just contouring my nose um, this actually helps you because it makes you look like you have a smaller nose and I did contour my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead so now I moved on into blush and I'm applying this Full of Joy by MAC. It's like a really frosty blush. So on my lip I combined three things. The first one was the Giordana Rock and Rose lip liner. Then I grabbed my MAC Myth 
um, lipstick. Then I took my Buxon um, lip gloss in Pretty Lady. And this has been my favorite lip combo. If you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on how to straight your hair, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows. And here's a little picture of the outfit I wore that day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe.